Well, hello everyone. Um, my name is Eric Reimer. I am an associate professor in the English department. I've worked uh, here for about 18 years. Uh, welcome to Lit 236, Modern British Literature, um, during this first summer session for uh, six weeks uh, class period. Uh, this class is a version of the British Literature Survey course that I've taught uh, under different course numbers through the years. It's a course I, I've always loved to teach. So as always, I'm looking forward to it this summer, looking forward to working with you. Um, it's a course that does move uh, rapidly, uh, breathlessly, you might say, across uh, a wide range of writers and across two centuries of time. So it, it's, it tends to be frustrating for some, uh, including some of my colleagues, which is why we've debated the role of these survey courses in the curriculum through the years. Um, but for me, it's always been an exciting class, and I, I always have a lot of fun with this one. Um, I hope it'll, it'll be rewarding for you as well. Um, I just love the, the, the way, you know, serendipitous affiliations will sort of form around um, disparate writers and across, uh, you know, again, wide periods of time. And it, it's really exciting to, to track ideas and to track questions um, as we move from the Romantic period, in this case, all the way up through the contemporary period, week all the way up to uh, Salman Rushdie, for example, by the end of the, by the, end of the term. Um, as an online course, it will come with uh, particular challenges. Um, I've, I've probably done this uh, two or three times now as an online course. I still have mixed feelings about it. Um, I guess of all of the faculty in the English department, I'm probably most suited for doing a course like this since I always do a lot of multimedia work in my classes. I've had some help from colleagues and students in the Department of Media Arts uh, for some aspects of the Moodle site that you'll see, some of the videos that they helped me produce and uh, some of the images. So I'm, I'm grateful to them for their help. Um, the, uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud of the Moodle site. It's a, it's a I think you'll find it to be a content-rich site and uh, put a lot of work into getting all of the contextual information that you should need in order to um, read our, our various texts this semester. So, and, and I'll look forward to having you contribute to the site as well. So it'll be a better, um, a better site um, after our collaboration this semester. So I thank you in advance for that. Um, that said, uh, please do let me know whatever um, difficulties or anxieties uh, or concerns that you face uh, regarding the technical aspects of the course, you know, either now or, or as the course proceeds, and we'll work through those together. Um, I will be in Missoula for um, the duration of the course, with some exceptions. I think I'll be away a little bit, actually, during our, our final week, but for the most part, I'll be in town. and. Um, I will uh, be available to meet with you if you'd like to meet, like in my office on campus. Um, we can schedule an appointment to do that. As for how things will work, it all starts with the Moodle site, um, and I would encourage you just to spend some time getting familiar with the organization. Uh, it's organized via, I think, five videos that correspond to each of our major periods of the course. So we have a for example, the first one is the Romantic period, and then the Victorian period, the late Victorian period. I'm reading them right now, the modern period and the contemporary period. So you should read, or I'm sorry, you should watch the videos for each period as we arrive at them. Like for example, now you wanna watch the four to five minute video on the Romantic period. And at that point, you just look at the individual author pages and the corresponding dates for those authors to know what you are going to be reading on a particular day. Um, for example, we'll begin with William Blake, and you'll see he's number one on the author list there, and he's associated with May 13th. So you will know that the text on the William Blake page uh, you should read on Monday the 13th, and then you'll be prepared to discuss them on our online forums. So I'd recommend uh, after watching those period, the period video uh, that you, with each individual author that you read the biographical information that I've assembled for you. And then you'll click on the text and context page, which is where I've assembled some of the things you may need to know or some of the questions you want to think about as you read the text for that particular author. Uh, having done that, you're ready to read the text themselves. And I've provided links to the the works that you'll be reading. So 
there's not a textbook to, you have to buy per se, although you could certainly uh, use a copy of the Norton Anthology of English Literature if you happen to have one. Um, but in any event, all the text should be available to you on the Moodle site uh, via links to, to PDF files. So you'll read the text. Um, in general, you won't have a lot of reading on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, you'll be reading two to three poems oftentimes, so it's not like you have 50 pages to read per day. Uh, but we will be doing a lot of poetry, and as, as you know, you know, poetry comes with its own demands. Uh, they may be short poems, but they'll also require that you read them multiple times to get familiar with them, to try to you know, work your way into them and to be able to get some traction and be able to talk about them. Um, so just be ready for that. Um, you know, again, there's a lot of poetry and uh, we all have different relationships to poetry. And um, I don't think you should feel any anxiety about this. We'll be, we'll be working through the poems together. And really, you just want to find uh, things to talk about where and when you can. And um, you, you never have to worry about like cracking the essence of a poem or, or you know, expecting yourself to have to, to, to understand it or articulate it um, in any kind of thorough way. But, um, I will expect you to, to read them multiple times, to read them out loud even, get used to the musicality of the poems and the, and the riches of, richness that they provide in a kind of oral or uh, acoustic way. Um, and oftentimes that helps you to understand them better too when you do read them out loud. So, um, you know, just be patient with them, be open, uh, be willing to deal with their ambiguities. And again, we'll, uh, we'll work through them together as, as we talk about them in the discussion forums. Uh, literature courses, you know, typically in face-to-face -face settings are built around discussion. So uh, there's one of the big challenges in moving it to an online forum that we have to somehow translate that discussion into, a, into an online venue. So what I'll be asking you to do is to uh, write reading responses on our discussion forums. Um, and that's how we'll have our discussions. So you'll be doing a little bit more writing than you probably would be doing in a face-to-face -face class, um, but there's really no other way to get around that. And um, I, I, I expect it'll go quite well. I'll, I'll be asking all of you to post one, or at least one formal response um, to the readings each week. And I'll have instructions for that on the Moodle page. I'll kind of divide you up uh, by last names in the alphabet um, across the week. Um, so you'll be doing one formal post, typically, and also two comments to the posts of your classmates uh, during the course of the week. Um, there will be exceptions to that. There may be weeks when I'll ask you to do two posts or, or have other kind of special little writing assignments that I direct you towards. But for the most part, you'll be doing one post and two comments each week. Um, I will, beyond that, you know, I, I think the more that you uh, participate in discussions, the better. Like, there's no reason you have to limit yourself to two comments. You know, the more we have a, a sort of semblance of an ongoing kind of uh, class conversation, I think the better this, this class will work. So I will be expecting you to be visiting the Moodle site frequently, probably many times per day. I'm assuming that the, the Moodle logs will show that you're visiting the site frequently, that you're not just stopping by to do your post and then vanishing until the next time. Um, so I want you to be checking in on uh, developing content and um, basically having the Moodle site be a kind of home away from home over the next six weeks. Um, in addition to those, uh, you know, day-to-day um, -day or week-to-week -week discussion forums, there'll be three formal assignments that I'll be asking you to complete. One will be a, a prosody assignment in which you take a poem and you mark it up in terms of its technical aspects, um, the meter, you know, whether it's iambic or trochaic, um, you'll be noting its sound features like assonance and consonance and alliteration. And you'll be pointing out the figurative elements like metaphors and similes and so on. So that'll be the first assignment. It'll be due at the end of the second week. I'll have a link to that available, um, the handout you know, a link to the handout available to you in the coming days on the assignments page, which is on the, the main page of the Moodle site. There will be, the second assignment will be um, just an opening paragraph for an argumentative paper or a, a thesis oriented paper. You know, and normally I would have you write the whole paper in a full semester, but I, 
Um, I thought in this case, since we have a shortened period of time and since you'll be doing a lot of work on the discussion forums in terms of your writing, that this time I would have you only write the opening paragraph. Um, I see my Labrador Retriever is <laughs> below my legs here, so you may see Huxley in the, in the frame now. Um, so again, more details to follow on that. That'll be your second paper. The third paper will be a, a six to eight page analytical paper that'll be due in the, in the final week of the term, in the sixth week. Uh, and again, I'll get a handout for that up to you uh, shortly. There will also be a final exam. Um, I have that scheduled for Friday, June 21st, I believe, which is the Friday at the end of the sixth week um, from 10.30 in the morning till 12 o'clock. Um, so uh, we don't have to worry about that just yet, but I'll, I'll be giving you more information about that as we proceed as well. So uh, I'm very likely forgetting something, but I don't want to belabor this video. Um, uh, I just wanted to get some of this information available to you, and uh, I'll be in touch, of course, via email and via the Moodle site announcement page. Um, once again, I look forward to working with you. Um, appreciate your interest in the course, and uh, maybe I'll meet some of you in the office in the coming weeks, but uh, for now, I'll, I'll see you in the parlor room of our uh, Moodle site. Um, uh, so, yeah, great. Um, I will talk with you soon. All the best. Bye.